Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with another M's Scrap Busters. That's the challenge run by Melina over at Me Crafty Scrapper and scrapbookingwithme.com and it's just designed to use up your scraps. So what have we got today? Today it's tags and we're using, yeah, strips of paper. I did something similar to this once before and I called it strip collage but it didn't sound right, did it? Yeah, it's just, yeah, I've totally forgot what Melina called it already because my mind keeps going back to strip collage. You can see what we're doing. Yeah, I've just grabbed a tag, any tag, anything you've got. I, as you can see, I always make my scraps into tags ready to go when I just need a tag. So I just grab one out of there and I've just got various strips of paper, nothing fancy. I've got, I've just gone in my trusty this one if you watch me you've seen it before it's my collage box where all my bits and pieces go and i was going to tidy out and get rid of all ones that were like little strips and i'm so glad i didn't thank you for coming up with this one melina so yeah it's basically a bit of stamping we've arranged some strips on it and then i've done some splattering with my sprays now i don't have any tumult sprays but I do have these and I've had these quite a while. I don't know if you can get these anymore. I don't go looking for them. They're just basically, yeah, ink sprays with a bit of mica in them. Got a white one, got a gold one. And then I've got this other one, which is a cosmic shimmer one. This is vintage mist. It's like a coppery colour. Well, marigold it's called. And I've just used those three colours. Very similar colours to what Melina used, but different sprays. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing. I've already spilt one of my sprays. I forgot to put lid on. So look, we've got a happy accident. I've got some papers that I used to mop it up with. Right, enough talking. Let's get doing. So I've rifled through here already. Nothing, it's not, look, we've got loads more like the ones I've took out. It's just something I always do. Whenever I colour my seam binding or I'm doing any inking whatsoever, I mop what's left up with, ooh, like that. I mop it up with bits of card, then they get cut to tags. It's, yeah, the dead under, if you remember to use them, that is. <clears throat> right, let's get doing. So I've only got, I've got two out like that. But now I've got three, so I think I'm going to use them three. They look nice, yeah. Go for it. I don't know how many I'm going to do. It depends how much of a tangle I get into. <laughs> Just, I don't like meh. I don't like inking. I love the look of it, but I don't like the mess. I'm a bit, ooh. If you saw me house, you'd think, I don't like mess. What's she on about? Yeah, I'm talking about on my desk where I'm crafting. Right, I'm doing these in a mass make kind of way. I've got a few inked from my prototype. I didn't like that because it was wonky. So, yeah, and it's I've just got bits of tea and coffee dyed paper, bits of book page. That's a little bit of white vellum. Let's ink that one. That might look nice in here. We've got some white coming through. I don't know if I want to stamp on this tag this time. I don't know. Shall I? Yeah, do it. Do it. Just do it, woman. Get on with it. So yeah, let's do that. Sorry to flip about from one thing to another. Melina did some stamping after. You can do it after. And it was really nice. It went onto the bits of paper as well. I think I'm just going to do mine as a base. Look, I'm dropping ink pad already. It's one of them days. Right, and for this, I'm just going to ink my stamp up this is a tim Holtz one couldn't tell you what collection it's from whatever collection it's from i've taken it out and i just keep it wrapped in a piece of bubble wrap for doing backgrounds right i'm not gonna pick the stamp up i'm gonna right which is the top oh, it don't matter i shake my tags stop whittling woman i'm just gonna put my card onto my stamp i'm not bothered if it gets the perfect impression oh that's not bad actually more ink on for this one because a lot of it's just going to be covered up with strips of card and paper. There we go. And finally this one. Yeah, I'm glad I did uh, stamp it first. I like that look. Right, 
There we go. So that's those three done. Back into bubble wrap. I've never cleaned this stamp. I'm really minging. It's been going strong for a few years. So I'm not too bothered. Right. Put that away so you don't dab any dauber in, which is what I ended up doing last time. Silly woman. Right, let's get these right way up. Not that it matters, my writing's upside down on that one. World didn't end, I assure you. Didn't hear any claps of thunder or anything. Right, so that right way up. Now let's get sticking some strips on. I just put my heat gun out of the way, I don't need it yet. Right, I'm going to use my Elmer's glue stick because I love it. I'm not too zoomed in today so I can yeah, I can go over to it and you can see what I'm doing. It's not rocket science. But it's quite it should be quite relaxing. Once I get over the stress of spraying things that might go everywhere, I'd probably enjoy it more. <laughs> so that's that. So the first few that I've got inked from last one, I'm just going to put on randomly. I can do that. I can live with that. I did that with my first one. I put my first few on random and then I thought about what I wanted to put on next. Whether I wanted map page or book page or whatever page. Oh, that's a ready inked one. Not sure this one will stick with glue stick. I'll try it because it's it's not actual vellum. I think it's more like I don't know. It's a cross between vellum and paper. It's really strange stuff. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Oh, my head's not been screwed on today. I had my lunch <laughs> at lunchtime, as you do, and and what I normally do is I craft all day when kids are at school, and I will break for lunch because I need that break at middle of day, and I normally have about half an hour, and I'll go downstairs, might watch a bit of telly, might just sit quietly, might listen to an audio book, and I thought, ooh, I was watching a film in bed the other night, I need to finish watching it, so. I can't remember what service it was streaming on because at the minute we have Netflix, Amazon Prime and Disney Plus. Yeah, we don't have a TV license. I'd rather pay for a streaming service with that money. So, oh, let's have that one. I'm going to put that one there. So, yeah, I thought, yeah, let's uh, find that film, finish watching it. I couldn't remember what it was called. Um, I couldn't remember much about it. It was something to do with alien intelligence. Where's my door gone? And yeah, Brad Pitt were in it. So I went to Amazon Prime, couldn't find it. Not there in your watch again. Because uh, I'd obviously fallen asleep. Film had finished playing to itself. And yeah, then it's gone, hasn't it? It's gone. It don't cater for people who've got bad memories and fall asleep watching films. It done. Couldn't find it. Tried Netflix, couldn't find it. Tried Disney, couldn't find it. Oops. I've, I've stuck this piece of paper to the um, glue book, but I like what's happened. Look, I like it. Yeah, couldn't find it. Then I thought, I'll tell you what, I'll search Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt films weren't coming up. By this time, I'd nearly finished my lunch. Then I realised it wasn't Brad Pitt. It were Johnny Depp. Yeah, so it took me my whole 30 minutes of lunch time to try and find a film I'd been watching and I didn't know it was called, I'd forgot what actor were in it, I actually knew what actor were in it. For some reason I've always got Johnny Depp and Brad Pitt mixed up, mixed up. no idea why. I don't even think they really look like each other, do they? I, just, I don't know why that is, it's just, um, yeah, I think I'm strange. <laughs> But well, if I'm strange, I enjoy being strange. So yeah, I will try again and finish watching that film when I go to bed tonight. But I know I'm going to fall asleep. So once I've found it, before I play it, I'm going to actually make a note of what it's called. And 
yeah where it's streaming I do have one at Girls Off School today, Rebecca. She actually did look it up and found what it's called, and I've forgotten already. Of course, I have. Right, I think I want to put some of this book page on that I used to mop my spill up with. So, yeah, if anyone knows a film with. <laughs> no, we found Rebecca found it. Yeah, it was quite a good film, actually. It was shaping up to be. Before I fell asleep. I quite often watch TV in bed or listen to an audiobook. I need something to take my mind off everything and then I'll nod off. Right, where's my dober gone? Is anyone counting how many times I've lost this dober? It's like the desk is a metre by is it sixty centimetres? And I don't know I can lose so many things in such a small space. A metre is three and a third feet. Yeah, three and a third feet roughly for you people <laughs> in the US and other countries who don't use metric. Yes, people, peeps. Yeah. I need to stop using the term ladies because it has been pointed out to me that there are other people other than ladies who watch my channel. So thank you, uh, Dash of Dave, for pointing that out. Yeah, Dave does have his own channel, Dash of Dave. He's, I quite like it. I've been watching him. I'm liking Dave. But yeah, Dave was exactly right. Right. I think the inking is the thing that takes the most time on this, isn't it? Now, I were going to try and go for five on each. I don't know, I've got this thing of threes and fives in my head, but I'm not going to fit five on these, so I'm not going to spend all day trying. It's just, it is what it is, isn't it? It's not going to be five. It's going to be four. These tags aren't quite as wide as my other, and the strips I've used are a smidgen wider. But I think it'll still look good. Right, let's get some of these stuck on now I've inked them all up. Uh, which one haven't got you? You're the one that hasn't got... Uh... I don't want that straight bit at the top. I need it to go. There you go. So, a lot of that just blends into the background. I'm hoping it looks a bit better when we get some... Um, I think because I've used a darker background, I'm, I should have used some papers. But it's... I like it. I like it. What do I always say? The world didn't end. I mean, I think... I can't remember if Melina went ahead and put some... Put images on these, some focal points, which is what you can do. I probably will want to use them. I do have a project in mind coming up that I think these might be nice for. So I'm just doing mine as they are, the backgrounds. I think I'm going to swap that out. It's a bit dark for me liking. Compared to the other bits of paper I've used. It's when you start spraying all these inks on, they come to life. And you can use any sprays you want. In fact, I'll get one out and I'll use it. I quite often make my own sprays when I need to spray. Normally my spraying is done in summer in a cardboard box outside on the garden table. And I do loads at once so I don't have to do it in my craft room. <laughs> so, yeah. I didn't make one this summer, but I normally make a couple of unicorn journals oh that's the wrong place and i love making them in all the pinks and purples and things like that it's pretty do you know what i'm gonna put that wonky one on even wonky bits of paper deserve to be loved don't they look i think it'll be it'll be fine I'm just gonna take a bit off there because it was a bit too wide because i want that bit of map page on there I need something with a little bit more text. Mm. 
I've gone off camera gluing now, but you get the idea. You don't need to see me put glue on a bit of paper. Which did that go on that? Yeah, I like that, even though it's not straight. Yeah, I quite like it, not straight. So we've got four pieces on them two. We want another piece for that. I think I want a piece of map page again. I don't know if I've got any. Not map or music. I don't, I've already got loads ripped up. I just randomly ripped a load up. What we got? Oh, look, there's another piece of the map. I like that. Again, it's not straight, but I like it. But it's very wonky. I think I might do something a bit different on these. Anyway, I might put some sewn strips going up and down rather than just one across bottom. It's really difficult sometimes doing Melina's challenge. Hers looks so perfect, you just want to do them exactly the same. <laughs> and that's what I've got in my head with this one today. They're absolutely gorgeous, the ones she did. Right, let me show you some of these sewn pieces I've got. Yeah, look. I sewed a few strips of paper. My desk's covered in them now. They're everywhere. They're breeding, I think. No, I just went mad. Absolutely mad. Oh, I like that. I like the straw paper one on it. So I have gone across bottom again. What I will do on this then is I'll put a word. Word and an image. I'm thinking fairies, yeah. I've been going to do this fairy journal for so long now. I should be receiving some fairy goodies shortly. It will be perfect. Right. Yeah, I think I want that there. I need to tidy that up. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to put a bit of ink on here. We'll shape the top of the tag. I'll pop some eyelash trim on. I'm going to glue this one. And we are glitter. Because the uh, glue stick is not going to hold it because it's not flat and it's got all this stitching on it. The art bit is quite full. I finally stopped squeezing it too hard considering how full it is. So that one on there. Uh, oh, I like that. No, no. I want a different... Oh, look, we've got this checked. Checked. I've got a short piece. You'd think with all these I've sewn I'd have a short piece, wouldn't you? Oh, we've got some lined. That's a nice short piece. What else we got? We've got some straw paper. Yeah, that's slightly different. Very random this sewing was. Yeah, I'm just gonna rip the edges now. Get rid of a bit of that cotton. Let's get some in kingdom. And then we'll do the scary bit. <laughs> the scary bit where I have to spray inks and not make too much mess. It's actually the fun bit. It should be the fun bit. If I'm outside, it should be really fun. I just, well, I've already spilt ink, so yeah, I didn't cry. We don't cry over spilt milk or ink. And. Like we said, world didn't end. I've got the very dirty look at that, look like we've been down pit. Down coal mine. Do you know I've never been in a coal mine? There's a museum in UK, National Coal Mining Museum, of all things, what a thing to call it. And it does have a mine that you can go down. It's obviously not working. But it's all preserved as it was when the mine was closed. I've been to it three times, never been down mine. One of mine never wanted to go down, Rachel, so I ended up staying up top with her while her sister went down with friends or 
staff from places we've gone with. Right, I like that. I think, yeah, I'm going to shape the tops before, yeah, I'll shape the tops before I, um, yeah, what am I trying to say? I'll shape the tops before I splatter ink on. All right, I'm going to just use my corner chomper, my wheel memory keepers one. There we go. I'm going to have to use this car bob for something, aren't I? Yeah, that'll be nice when it's all covered in splatters. Right, here we go. So I did give these a good check beforehand, so they shouldn't take too much. That's the white one, the gold one. What's that I've got? Oh, that's some iridescent, uh, it didn't, iridescent medium and water. Uh, I don't have the jar Here's of that to show you. On the web. Really? According to wikipedia.org, mm -hmm. St. Bernard is a peninsula and therefore it is almost entirely surrounded by water. Never. Did that answer your question? Yeah, cheers. Cheers, Gertrude. There you go, St. Bernard. It's a peninsula. Oh, I will sleep much better now I know that tonight. Right, this is the other one I'm going to show you. This is just white acrylic paint and water. Yeah, I'm not spraying it with the spray, spray. squirt a bit, watch. So if you don't have any sprays, that's all you need. You don't even need squirty bottles when you do it like this. You can mix it in anything, then you can just stick a paintbrush in. If you stick a paintbrush in, you can do that splitter splatter method. You know what I mean, don't you? Kids do it at school, where you get the... I'll show you. <laughs> World's smallest paintbrush, indeed. Get this one. Yeah, you know, you put it in and then you do. Ooh, dare I do it? Dare I? I don't know. I don't think I dare. It might be too messy. Too messy for my world. Right, I'm going to go in with a bit of this gold. And you can always add mica powder to the um, acrylic paint. And this is, that's all this is. It's acrylic paint and mica powder. Put in a bottle and overpriced. <laughs> oh. I know you can do some amazing things with Tim Holtz ones, but unless you want to do those amazing things with them, I won't buy them just to splatter. Oh, I like this. Uh, no, put your lid on properly. You've already had one accident, woman. Then I'm going to use this uh, marigold, it's called, but it's more like a copper. This is a Cosmic Shimmer one. These were rubbish from the day I bought them. The, uh, whatever it is, clogs the... They've never sprayed. Apparently you have to lay them down. We don't want to lay them down. I want to stand them up so we can see what they are. Oh, look at that. It totally transforms them, doesn't it, when you get these splatters on? Oh, I've gone a bit over the top. I've put way more splatters on this than I did on others. And I'm not too worried about how big they are. I love it. I could just this could be it for Christmas. You could put a nice gold Christmas tree on that. A Merry Christmas and it's done. Or it can it could be an angel. Right. That needs a bit more on, doesn't it? I don't know what it needs. I think it needs a bit more white. I'm gonna put some of this sparkly white. Do -do. Oh yeah, yeah. I may have gone a bit OTT, but hey ho. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give these a little bit of a dry with my heat gum. Mm. Same as when you're using um, distress inks. If if a blob's really, really, it's a big blob and it's going to take forever to dry. I'm just going to do that. You still get, you st it's still there. Look at them coming to life. These sparkly ones. Woo. Woo. Absolutely love those. That's a bit big, that splat. Yeah, that marigold, when you first put it on, it looks a bit red. Then when it dries, it goes a lovely coppery colour. I've never seen a marigold that colour, really haven't. 
Right, that'll do me. That will be enough so that they don't smudge. Oh, there, lovely. Just going to bend them back a bit. I'm not going to do too much because if it's not quite dried, I don't want to smudge it too much. I normally curl it like I'm curling ribbons for presents. See, I've stuck my finger in one that weren't dry, but it, it looks okay. I just really love this colour. Yeah, I've gone ahead and I've done just about the same colour as uh, Melina did. She did some on a different colour cardstock, but I just love the goldy one she did. And I knew that's what I was going to aim at. Yeah, these would be fabulous. You could make a Christmas card front like this. I think they'd be brilliant, wouldn't they, for Christmas cards? Oh, I could do all my Christmas cards like this this year. I've not got too stressed. I don't think I've got spray ink anywhere outside my uh, <laughs> piece of cardboard. But yeah, I do prefer to do some... I know you can get mixed media mats, and yes, I do have a brand new glass mat that I probably would have used had it not been a dull day here. And I'd had to put the uh, light on. So. Right, that's them inked. I'm just going to pop some holes in. Um, I think I'm going to put uh, gold eyelets on these. Yeah, I want to do gold eyelets. Ooh. Right, I'm just going to have to find my eyelet too. It's two ticks. Here we go. I moved a basket of stuff off my desk that's normally always on my desk. So that I had room. That's that. Yeah, I just... That one already had a big hole in, so I just put a reinforcement ring on it. This one, though, I like the gold eyelets with all this. Ooh. What about copper eyelets for a change? Oh yeah, copper eyelets it has to be. I have to be careful squeezing these up. The metal is rather soft. I tend to find if you go a bit slower when they're like that, you've less chance of deforming it. It's not, it's not, uh, a foregone conclusion, you're not going to deform your eyelet, but less likely, I find. Once you've got whatever you're putting in, I think I'm going to go for eyelash trim again. You don't really. Look, that one, can you see part of it's just flattened out a bit too much, but I'm not too fussed about that. It's a junk journal. Not an invitation to a royal wedding. <laughs> right. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I really love these, Melina. You've done an outstanding job picking this. Right. I've got some, yeah, this eyelash trim. I love this colour. This colour is latte and it's a sparkly one. I don't always plug my shop, but I do sell this in my Etsy shop along with a whole range of other sparkly eyelash trims. <laughs> I also sell straw paper and I have got the A4 sheets back in. I managed to uh, get a box. And yet the price... Oh, what on earth was that? What is it? I don't even know what that is. Oh. oh, I'm sorry about that. Someone were ringing me. <laughs> Someone, I've not, I've not turned the sound off on this phone. Oh, that scared me to death. Yeah, it were a messenger call. Uh, yeah, that's scared. I wonder what on earth that were. I'm looking all around my craft room like, what on earth makes that noise? Because I ain't got a clue. Totally forgot what I was saying. Yes, the straw paper is a little bit more expensive. That's because it costs me a lot more to have it shipped now than it used to. Crazy. Brexit for you. Yeah, enough said. 
but at least I can get it now. Oh, I did get some. Whether I can get it again is anyone's guess. Christmas has come in. Everything's full of presents. Right, look at that. I love them. Do you know, they don't need anything else on them, but I do, have, like I said, I do have a plan for them. But for now, I'm going to leave them like that. I absolutely love that idea, Melina. You've outdone yourself with this one. So, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.